Hi everyone, this is Susie. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my recipe for my chipotle mayonnaise that I put on my burgers or sandwiches or things like that. So these are the ingredients we'll be using. I have some chipotles and adobo, some mayonnaise, tofuti sour cream, garlic, lemon juice, ground cumin, salt, and pepper. And also if you don't want to use the mayo or the sour cream, you can also use some soaked cashews instead. And I've also downloaded that and it's really really awesome. So let's get started. Okay, so I don't really measure this. I just kind of eyeball it depending on how much I need at the time. So you just grab some of your favorite vegan mayonnaise. And this is the sour cream that I jazzed up that I have a video for jazzing up tofuti sour cream. So I'm just going to use some of that. Like I say, if you don't want to use these in, these products, you can always just use maybe like a third of a cup or more of soaked cashews. You just rinse them and you put them in here and you're just going to add some water or some oil if you want. If you want to add oil, you can add oil. This is some of my lemon juice. So I'm just going to eyeball it. I have some chile chipotle in here. That's only like half of it, but I might need some more because I do like it pretty spicy. black pepper, some salt, a little bit of cumin, just like a tiny pinch. And I might need to add a little bit of water to that. So I added a splash of water and then some garlic, as much as you like. And now we're just going to blend this until smooth, okay? Okay, so I ended up adding too much water, so now I had to add a little bit more of the mayo and the sour cream. And it also needed a little bit more spice, so I just added some more chipotles. And also, if you don't have chipotles and adobo, you can always add the chipotle chili pepper, the ground. And you can just add a little bit of that if you want. And now we're going to blend this again. Okay, so here you have it. It's still a little bit runny, so you might not even add, need to add any water at all. Just with the lemon juice should be enough, but I don't mind it, okay? Just so you see, so you can see the consistency. And then this is something that I also like to dip like my fries into, like what I like to do, okay, so this is ready just like that for your burgers. So you can put it in the fridge, you can make it a day before if you want, so that way it's ready for you. And then you just spread it over like you would any type of mayonnaise. And I like to put this on one side and then I do the mustard on the other. Well, you'll see the video. If you see the video for the black bean burgers that I'm going to be making next, you'll see how I use it. Um, the other thing that I like to do is I actually take this with me when I go out to restaurants. So you can see. Let me show you. You can't appreciate the color, but it's like a really nice pink color. So. I will put a little bit in like a little uh, container and I'll take it with me, I'll put it in a bag, in a Ziploc bag and put it in my purse and I take it over when I'm going to go out to eat and because if I know that I'm going to have uh, like a, a veggie burger or something, that way I have my own mayonnaise because usually, you know, restaurants don't carry vegan mayonnaise unless you go to a vegan restaurant which is, you know, <laughs> you know how that is. Anyways, so I take this with me. And because they always have mustard there or whatever, so I don't need to carry the mustard. And sometimes I'll even use this as my dipping sauce for my french fries as well. So that's another thing, you know, another tip. Usually, I, I mean, in the beginning I used to call the restaurants and ask them if, I could, if it was okay if I took it. But then some people would just kind of like, eh, you know, so I, I just stopped asking. I don't ask anymore. I just bring it with me. I take it out. I use it. I put it back in my purse. And nobody's ever on my, you know, nobody, nobody's ever said anything. So if you guys want to give that a try, um, go ahead. So I hope you give this a try. Like I say, I use this for sandwiches, for wraps, for you know, anything that you like for burgers and things like that. So thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.